Hello everyone out in YouTube land. It's your girl, Lily, and we're going to do a quick little unboxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of course, I I don't know. When I'm making this video, I don't know if I'm going to tell you uh, what is in the bag by the title so you already know or if I'm going to be like, try to have you guessing or whatever. So I'll figure that out. I just know that I got to make this video now because I'm just getting home from work, work clothes. Um, and I can't wait to open this. I wanted to share it with you, but I'm not going to be able to wait because I'm anxious to see what the condition is. So it came by DHL. It is a Louis Vuitton purse from Japan. I will put like the, the name of the seller on eBay that I purchased from, but I want to just dig in. So I right away can't say that I love the way they packaged it. I wish it had been in a box. Let me show you, but I wish it had been in a box because I can feel the bag through here. And I just wouldn't have wanted it to get crushed. So it's basically in a plastic bag, just a plastic bag. So then we get in here and I wanted it to be a true unboxing with you seeing me taking it out and stuff because yeah, just because. And then it's in um, bubble wrap. I'm gonna tilt down guys a little bit here. Yeah, just so you can see it better. But, so it's in bubble wrapped and it's wrapped around like that and then it's wrapped more. So, I mean, they did wrap it really well to keep it from like any bad weather or anything like that. So then it's in one of these little makeshift bags that I'll probably keep it in until I find a dust bag. <laughs> Here it is. It's different when I'm looking at it for the first time um, on camera like this versus me looking at it by myself, you know. Um, initial thoughts out the gate are, okay, not bad. Gotta do the whiff test. So it smells like smell of keeping is what they used to write down. Like I've been doing the Japanese eBay thing for a long time and they used to, um, use the word smell of keeping for that kind of storage smell but that's what it smells like storage smell so right off the bat i already knew that it didn't have the leather zipper pull like it's it's gone but it's that little leather zipper pull and then it has the the other end of the contraption that sits on here so you can do the s lock right there but that's missing um, the bag, $460, I think. I just got it and I don't remember how much I paid for it. But uh, $460, I'm sure, because I was like, $400? So, anywho, I want to, and I'm hoping upon closer... Oh, y'all, it's in here. I was thinking, oh, it would be so cool if it were in here, and it is. So, it was ripped off somehow. If the bags could talk, the stories they would tell. So we have our clochette or our bell, whatever you want to call it. And it has the keys on it, which is cool. And it has the little piece that came off. So I love that. So I want to inspect this bag. And of course, if there are no, um, if there's no compromise to the canvas, any cracks or anything, because you know, you got to check it out and make sure um, everything was disclosed because this isn't one that I seller. This isn't one that I normally, um, buy from, but in my experience, the Japanese are honest. I've been to Japan. I think I've said it before and they're just like, they're honest. Um, the laws over there, you, you pay the price when you break the law over there. But yeah, here it is. So it snaps in here. Oh, it doesn't. Even, yeah, it does. So it would snap in, but somehow it just got ripped off. But then you would just, the S-lock, 
in on the s lock it's only like one of the screws that moves actually the other one is stationary but yeah i was hoping that this would come with it that makes me happy that's a plus and i knew this was coming because it showed a picture of this but it didn't it didn't show this anywhere in any of the pictures so the whip test gotta do it just smells um just smells like it was kept and then it says you know stains on the inside you're not going to be able to see the inside so we won't i can hardly see the inside um but there are some marks in here little marks dash here and there if i wanted to i'm sure i could pull this alcantara lining out let me see if it actually separates from the bottom of the no i'm not going to do that now i don't want to waste time with y'all watching but yeah it does pull apart from the canvas so i could flip it out and and wipe it wash it or whatever i need to do but the condition i think is good i think this bag is from 06 i think and i'm once again i'm not going to look right now but yeah it's a really um thick canvas and i know what this takashi marikami um collab was the early 2000s 2003 two three but at any rate they stopped making them so i understand in like 2015 and sometimes i think to myself where were you when these bags were being dropped because i don't remember this but i probably had my eyes set on something else and i missed it but then again i have to say i wasn't like all over this design um but i don't know i just kind of thought it would be nice to have um, one of those pieces but i did hear people say that it's heavy and it does feel like it has a little bit of weight to it the canvas is um feels really thick i don't see any craziness going on and you know i'll inspect it with a fine tooth comb but the i'm gonna call these chaps on here because they're chaps on a speedy so i'm guessing they're gonna be the same thing on here but um i like the studs i've seen them before where a stud is missing but they're all here in this little pocket here with the s lock here hmm. i mean it's kind of small but you could get a little something in there a little hand sanitizer or whatever so it's your normal speedy 30 with the rolled handles now i do have to say these rolled handles feel thicker they are more rolled they're rolled bigger if you will <laughs> but um yeah this thing right here is curled the vachetta i'll probably wipe it down and condition it but it's not that bad for a bag from 2006 so i mean you know just your regular speedy it just feels really thick but anywho but that's it i think it's adorable this looks a little dry but yeah so this is nice and colorful and you know um this screening that goes on here i guess it's prone to chipping i don't see a lot now at the top where you get in and out of the bag there is some wear and some of it is like you know rubbed off or whatever on one of these little flowers but yeah i like it guys i like it so at any rate the little corners are decent i don't know if you can see them but yeah they're 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 decent they're not really scraped and, and discolored like i had maybe anticipated for a 460 dollars price tag because i think that's really good i missed out on one of these on a louis vuitton facebook group and i think it was like 750 and i could have kicked myself for a couple years after missing out on it because I, I thought the price was too good to be true so i didn't see anybody else biting so i didn't bite either but then when somebody snapped it up i was thinking oh man i should have got that 750 i should have got that so anyway i'm hoping that i can take this to um louis vuitton boutique and have them obviously not replace this because it's all jacked up but um 
yeah, I'm hoping that I can can get this this part replaced. I did see a young lady because you know how you're in the market for something, you start searching all the videos. But a young lady had purchased one that didn't also didn't have that pull tab on, and she just simply got a piece and put it on the zipper. Now I could put some kind of little charm or something on here and just you know utilize the zipper for now. But she got a little piece and put on here, like a little pull tab. I think it was black leather. And she just opened and closed it like that. But yeah, the piping looks good and all that. So we'll wipe her down and, and see what we come up with when I closely inspect it. But just wanted to share a unboxing of this beauty. So if you have it, um, comment and tell me what you think of yours. Uh, if you like it and you ever thought about getting one you know just hit me below but if you have it let me know if this canvas is thick like this not that I'm doubting it but it's like wow this is some thick canvas <laughs> anywho I'm out of here before I start getting crazy because you all know how I get but at any rate um wanted to jump on jump off do this and now I am on my way out the door I don't even get to sit down yet but at any rate guys uh, be blessed. Have a great weekend. I'm filming this on a Friday and I will see you in my next video, but I got to run because that's my time. Take care. See you soon.